Today I will show you how to determine whether you have uniquely decodable or not uniquely decodable code. Uh, the algorithm we will use for that is Sardinus Patterson algorithm. Now let's quickly recap what's prefix and what's dangling suffix. Here you can see that A consists of 0, 1, 0 and B is represented by 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is the code for A and this is the code for B. So A uh, is the prefix for B because it starts with B starts with 0, 1, 0 and 1, 1, what is left uh, it is the dangling suffix. I will first provide you with an algorithm and then we'll give some example. So, it's actually it's quite simple. First of all, we have to group all symbols. Uh, for example, like that. We have grouped them into the sequence. Uh, we now find the prefixes. If no prefixes are found, as I already said, prefix-free codes are uniquely decodable. If the prefix is found, add the dangling suffix to the group, like to here, and repeat it in a similar fashion. If all dangling suffixes are over, this will auto automatically mean that the, our code is uniquely decodable. And uh, of course, if some prefix on the next or following iteration is found, it means that our code is not uniquely decodable. I will now give an example and uh, this will become super clear. Okay, now let's go to the example. I've prepared a sequence for you. Uh, if you understood the algorithm, you can try to go through it uh, yourself, but uh, if you have not or you're not sure, just follow my instructions. So on the first step, we check whether the code is prefix-free. No, actually it's not. So we form our new sequence with 0, 1, 0. We will add actually this 0 to our sequence. Now we can obviously see here's the new member in our sequence. This is 0. And this 0 is becoming a new member and of course the, we apply rule to the next generated sequence. Now we generate even more dangling suffixes. 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, I mean, I, I mean 1, 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, yeah. Let's write all of them down. One zero. Okay, sequence is very big now. Okay, and uh, we have found that now one of the dangling suffixes has become a member of our sequence. Actually, here it has been cut off from here, from this member of our sequence, and now we see that. 0, 1, 0 and new formed dangling suffix, new formed member of our sequence is also 0, 1, 0. That means that our code is not uniquely decodable.